In today's lesson, we shall learn about question tags. Welcome to the program. Hello, Standard 8 pupils. Welcome to today's program in English language. Today, we shall learn about question tags. In the studio with me are two Standard 8 pupils, Karani and Rukia. They will say hello to you. Hello, hello Standard 8. Eight. Teacher, write these sentences on the chalkboard as Karani and Rukia read them. Karani, read the first sentence. Our teacher is generous. Our teacher is generous. Good, Karani. Rukia, give us the question tag to that sentence. Our teacher is generous, isn't she? Good, Rukia. Teacher, write the question tag adjacent to the sentence. Karani, read the question tag. Isn't she? Thank you, Karani. Class, read the sentence and the question tag aloud when you hear the gong. I hope you have done so. Good. Rukia, read the second sentence. Teacher, please write it on the chalkboard as Rukia reads it. Kisha was not disobedient. Kisha was not disobedient. Good, Rukia. Karani, give us the question tag. The question tag is... Was he? Good, Karani. Teacher, write the question tag on the chalkboard adjacent to the sentence. Teacher, I hope you have written it. Class, read the sentence and its question tag to your teacher now. I hope you have read. Good. Karani, give us the third sentence. Teacher, please write it on the chalkboard. My mother has a very hard working sister. My mother has a very hard working sister. Good, Karani. Rukia, give us the question tag. The question tag is, hasn't she? Good, Rukia. Teacher, write the question tag adjacent to the sentence. Class, read the sentence and its question tag when you hear the gong. Rukia, give us the fourth sentence. Teacher, write the sentence on the chalkboard. They are honest. They are honest. Very well. Karani, give us the question tag. The question tag is, aren't they? Good, Karani. Teacher, write the question tag adjacent to the sentence. Class, read the sentence and its question tag when you hear the gong. Thank you, class. I hope you have read the sentence and its question tag. Class, read all the sentences aloud 
and their question tags now. Thank you, class. Karani and Rukia, read the sentences and their question tags aloud. Rukia, start us off. Our teacher is generous, isn't she? Kisha was not disobedient, was he? My mother has a very hard-working sister, hasn't she? They are honest, aren't they? Well done, Karani and Rukia. Class, have you noticed that a question tag is actually a short question that comes after a sentence? It is added to the end of a sentence to make it a question or to check whether someone agrees with you. A negative sentence has a positive question tag and a positive sentence has a negative question tag. Rukia, Read the first sentence without the question tag. Our teacher is generous. Karani, is that sentence positive or negative? It is positive. Rukia, what is its question tag? Isn't she? Good, Rukia. Class, now look at the question tag to the first sentence. Tell your teacher whether it's negative or or positive. I hope you have told your teacher whether the question tag is negative or positive. Karani, is the question tag negative or positive? It is negative. Why? Because it has the word not. Right, Karani. Class, the sentence is positive and the question tag is negative. Isn't in the question tag is a short form of is and not. Class, look at the second sentence. Is it negative or positive? Rukia, read the second sentence. Is it positive or negative? The sentence is, Kisha wasn't disobedient. The sentence is negative. Good, Rukia. Class, look at the question tag to the second sentence. Is it negative or positive? Give the answer to your teacher now. Class, have you told the teacher whether the question tag is negative or positive? Karani, tell us. The question tag is, was he? It is positive. Very well, Karani. Teacher, let the class discuss sentence 3 and 4 plus their question tags, explaining whether they are negative or positive. Let us now have Karani and Rukia do the same. Karani, tell us about the third sentence. The third sentence reads, 
My mother has a very hard working sister. It is positive. Good Karani. And the question tag? The question tag is hasn't she? It is negative. Rukia, tell us about the fourth sentence. The fourth sentence reads They are honest. This sentence is positive. The question tag reads aren't they? It is negative. Very well, Rukia. Class, write the four sentences as well as their question tags in your exercise books now. Class, I believe you have done so. Now, here are some more sentences. Write them in your exercise books as I read them out. Your teacher will also write them on the chalkboard. Remember, each has a blank space at the end. 1. They are successful. They are successful 2 she is sincere she is sincere 3 they have done all the work they have done all the work and 4 We are hungry. We are hungry. I hope you have finished writing the sentences. Now Read the first sentence aloud and add a question tag to it. I hope you have given your teacher the correct question tag. Karani, read the sentence and add the question tag. They are successful. Aren't they? Good, Karani. Class, read the second sentence and add a question tag to it. I suppose you have given your teacher the correct question tag. Rukia, read the second sentence. and add a question tag she is sincere isn't she correct rukia class read the third sentence and add a question tag to it karani they have done all the work haven't they Good Karani class read the fourth sentence and add a question tag to it mm-hmm. 
Rukia? We are hungry, aren't we? Good, Rukia. Class, do you remember that there is always a comma between the sentence and its question tag and a question mark after every question tag? In today's lesson, we have learned about question tags. I hope you have enjoyed the lesson. You have been listening to our program on English language. In this program, Karani was Alan Mutuma, Rukia was Jackie Cairo, and your radio teacher was Kamande Ngugi. This program was written and edited by the Primary English Language Media Panel and recorded by John Bithy. It was produced by Dorothy Jamura Mwanzile for the Educational Media Service. Kenya Institute of Education. Until next time, goodbye.